By watching this video, you'll learn how to adjust your practice's hours and calendar. Dr. Crusher starts at 7 a.m. during flu season, and Dr. Williams needs extra sick time on Monday mornings. Your practice can create scheduling templates, assign them by week, month, or day, and easily add vacation days at any time. When you want to make changes to your calendar, open the Provider Hours tool. The first tab is the Provider Schedule. Okay, it looks like a calendar. Yep, and when I pick a clinician, I can see exactly when she is working, including her on and off times for each day. These are her schedulable hours. It shows me exactly what times will be open on her appointment book. I could double click to modify the schedule for a single day, but you see how Dr. Crusher is working her regular hours on these days and her on-call hours on other days? Sure, she's on a rotation and her on-call hours are different each week. Regular, late, on-call, they are unique templates. Uh, if I go to December, you'll see that Dr. Crusher switches to a special winter's hour template when she mostly works 8 to 2. Okay, show me how to set this up for my practice. Okay, so I click on Scheduling Templates. Here are my starter templates. Uh, when I open up Dr. Crusher's regular template, I see hours on the left with start and stop times for each day, and the regular template visit types over on the right. Uh, that's where you can see visit times designated by sick, well, recheck, or whatever else we reserve. Can I change the name? These are actually her fall hours. Oh, sure. I can do that right now. And I can adjust the start and end times for each day. If we decide we want less sick time on Wednesday and Thursday in the fall, for example, I can specify that over on the right, painting what visit types should appear on the appointment book for our schedulers. Okay, so these are now the fall hours, or should I say the fall template for Dr. Crusher. Uh, and then I can create on-call or winter hours? Exactly. Uh, let's save our changes to look at our list of templates. I can have as many templates as I want here. Now, we've got separate templates for each clinician, but you could just create a single template for multiple doctors, uh, or a single on-call template, for example, that you use for whoever the on-call clinician is. Uh, making these templates specific to a clinician is just one way of doing it. You can use the Add, Clone, Delete, and Edit buttons on the bottom to build all the templates your practice needs. Once I've created the templates, am I all set? Uh, are we ready to schedule? Not quite. I create and edit templates to indicate each clinician's hours, and then I need to open up the calendar. Uh, let's go back to the provider schedule. I pick a clinician here and I can review what templates are currently assigned for each day or week. But if I go forward to next year, say November 2019, Oh, we haven't opened up this month yet for scheduling. When do I do that? That's up to your practice. Some practices schedule a year ahead. Uh, some practices keep the schedule open even further. You've got control, and for each clinician, who you schedule for. Okay, well, we want to schedule next year's physical as soon as this year's physical is done, so we want to be open at least a year out. Can I open up November 2019 for this clinician? No problem. You open up the schedule by assigning a template to the calendar. Just click Assign Scheduling Templates. Okay, so I'm working on Beverly Crusher, and I'm opening up the whole month. Yep, you could do this week by week if you want. And for November 2019, Dr. Crusher is going to work fall hours. I click Assign. Cool. That month is now open, and I can see her hours right on the screen. Am I all done? Sure. She's ready to be scheduled. Uh, but you may already know which days Dr. Crusher is going to be on call, or working late hours, or be on vacation, that kind of thing. You can double-click to open up one of these days, and pick a different template, or set custom hours for that day. Hey, we actually set up vacations way in advance. If I use that Assign Scheduling Templates button, will that overwrite our vacation scheduling? Well, let's try it. Uh, let's give Dr. Crusher vacation in December 2019. I open up the 26th. I set her as off for that day. Great, that works. I can see she's off for December 26th. 
I might set other templates for when she's on call or has half days. Now, when I use assign scheduling templates to open up this month, the tool knows there's a vacation or a special custom hours on that month. I can open up the days by setting the winter template, but by default, it will leave those special days alone, unless I want to wipe them away, and then I'd uncheck this box. Okay, I think I'm ready to set up my clinicians' different hours and visit types schedules, and open up their calendars for scheduling. Great, and remember, if you get stuck, your client advocate is an expert on this tool. They can walk you through all this anytime you need help. They can even help you figure out what types of templates you might need to make your practice's schedule work perfectly.